What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another XDL battle. This week we're facing off versus Battle Room VGC, AKA Colin Hire. He's a great battler, he's an amazing player, and I am bad at draft league. So we're gonna see what we can do here. This isn't the first time we battled, but man, this guy's really good. So I'm, I'm a little nervous, and yeah. If you're wondering where the other XDL battles have been, uh, they've been pretty much like, how do I say it? Last week, my opponent dropped the league, so we got an auto win, so that's probably gonna be like our only win this whole season, but this battle is late because Colin was on vacation or something, and we got an extension, so it's all good. This will be going up tomorrow. It's like 10 p.m. on Tuesday right now, but we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, I hopefully will have gone over the team before the video, <laughs> but yeah, um, let's see what he's bringing. Okay, all right. We, we pretty much expected the Rhydon to show up uh, in prep because it's just so good versus Colossal. Like, it's able to tank a hit. But it doesn't look like they're going Trick Room, which is amazing. Cradilly looks phenomenal in this game. I have to pull up my notes real quick because I know we have some notes going um, here for me to look at. I think Cradilly is just going to be my best friend. Cradilly is always going to be my best friend, to be honest. Let me think. Um, my Talonflame doesn't have Quick Guard or anything, so I can't block a Fake Out. I think I definitely want to go Trick Room. Sneasel seems pretty okay for helping me get that Trick Room off. I'm going to go for it immediately. And... Yeah, I think I'm going to play Trick Room versus this. Colossal looks fine and all, but I don't want to have to worry about <laughs> that that um, Blastoise being a nuisance for this whole match. And I think my last Mon... I feel pretty okay going with, dang, who do I want to go with? Uh, Colossal isn't great. I think I'm going to go Dracozolt just because Choice Band Dracozolt goes crazy. Yeah. Okay. So Togetic could be a little bit annoying and Screen's Grimmsnarl could be frustrating. But what's nice about leading off with Sneasel is we can actually scout for a possible Eject Button Grimmsnarl by going for Fake Out immediately. And then I can just trick room up and hopefully do pretty well. I mean, I am carrying Energy Ball on my Life Orb Reuniclus, so we should be able to do with, um, with, what's it called? We should be able to do with Ride on pretty all right. I keep wanting to say Rhyperior or Rhyhorn. I just don't see Ride on that often. As they go with Togetic Blastoise, definitely aiming to stop that Colossal setup, but I should be able to uh, fake out and trick room up here. Yeah, hopefully we don't end up having to eat a yawn. I'm going to fake out and I'm going to go for the Trick Room. Oh, wait, do we not have Trick Room? Am I dumb? Did I? I don't know why I thought I had Trick Room on this thing. I'm big stupid. So on the bright side, we can do this instead. I'm going to taunt that Togetic. I'm not even going to bother with the Fake Out. And I'm going to immediately go for an Energy Ball. I think that's my play. We're going to do that. I don't know why. I thought I had freaking Trick Room. All right, there's the taunt. Uh, hopefully we stop something important. <laughs> Probably a yawn. There's the Shell Smash. Let's see if they're White Herb or Focus Sash. They're White Herb. Okay, this should do a ton of damage. Yeah, stop the yawn, which is awesome. Energy Ball. I don't know why I thought I Trick Room. That Trick Room would have been so nice. And we just straight up one shot them because this thing's absurd. <laughs> and we got the crit. So that's really lucky on my end. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have lived it. I'm pretty sure it would have lived it. But I think Sneasel would have been fine just to go crazy there. Okay, and there he is. There's the boy. This thing may be weakness policy. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I feel pretty comfortable Dynamaxing, I think. Um, the rest of the team is pretty easy to deal with if I don't lose my guy too early. And I want to say that this thing might not actually be carrying Protect. I don't know why. I want to I wanna say this thing might not actually be carrying Protect. There's the Kamoa. Okay, great. Let's see if they Dynamax. I'm Dynamaxing. I'm probably in a pretty good spot here. I don't know if Kamoa really has anything to beat Reuniclus once it's Dynamaxed. 
Okay. As they don't go for a protect, so this should be a KO. I don't really mind losing my... Actually, I shouldn't ever lose my, um, my Sneasel on this turn unless they have, like, Rock Blast. They have Horn Drill. Yeah, no, we're not gonna... <laughs> I'm really glad we Dynamax there, because I'm pretty sure Dynamax is immune to that. Oh my god, that was scary. Did he really just click Horn Drill? <laughs> what? Oh my god, I just... I'm really glad I used the bathroom before this match because I was like, man, I really gotta pee. It would have been all out on my keyboard right there. <laughs> it would have been on my keyboard right there if he actually landed that. Okay. I feel pretty good here. Um, I should always just be able to taunt Togetic. And I'm gonna max Mindstorm here. It's probably gonna get Follow Meat anyway. <laughs> yeah. I should have always targeted the, the Kamo, but... Uh, yeah, it was dumb for me not to target the Kamo, but I knew it was going to get Follow Meat anyways. So we get this Max Mindstorm off. I'm assuming they're going to go for some setup. There's the Iron Defense. Okay, that's great. We know just how based... We know just how based this, um... This Reunicus lead is now. Alright. And what's great is... They should always follow me turn one next game. So I think I know what I do. Let me just triple axel this thing. And I should be able to KO this thing with a max Mindstorm. We can also find out if it's Sash Kamo. This should be a pretty easy way to reveal that. As they Dynamax the Kamoa, I don't think they're living this ever, really. Okay. Triple Axel, we connect. That, as long as we land all three, that should always KO. Nice. Let's see if we can one-shot this Kamoa. They're max knuckling. Definitely just checking to see if I'm focused, Sash. As I believe this will just one-shot. Yeah, nice. So that's a clean 4-0 on our end. I uh, managed to pick up game one. There's a lot of momentum going for me. I know how good Reuniclus is now versus this team. Uh, and yeah, I, I think I just lead off the exact same way. And the only reason I would ever switch it up game two is if I predict an entirely different lead. But I don't think they have a better lead than, than that Blastoise setup. Let me get that famous Battle Room VGC card. Play with the same rules. I got mad respect for Colin. He's such a good player. I wonder how much that crit mattered. It definitely mattered like a ton, but now I think I might just Dynamax and deal with it. I might just Dynamax turn one and just deal with it like that. Because I know for a fact they're not taking a max overgrowth. Also... I might have to cut this part of the video out. I forgot Colin is a little sick, so he said, I'm going to have to get some water real quick between games. So, <laughs> okay, no, we're already doing this. Cool. Let's go with a, let's go gym leader. I haven't listened to that song in a while. I think we do something pretty similar here. I don't know why. I literally forgot I didn't have trick room on that. I completely thought I had trick room on that, but it worked out in the end. It worked out. I'm going to lead off the exact same way, because Reuniclus just does so good here. Critically, and we'll go Dracozult again, because Dracozult's actually really nice. I 
And this time instead of taunting, I'm just going to fake out. Watch it be like ally switch Togetic. That could actually be really annoying. Grim Snarl, Blastoise. Okay. So luckily for me, I can do this. Never gonna see this one coming. Never gonna see this one coming. I would assume if he has Protect, he'd go for it right now and get off that screen. Cause then next turn he'll be able to possibly Shell Smash or at least tank the hit I'm gonna go for. But if I can KO this thing with a max steel spike, that'd be great. As he opts to Dynamax early. That's fine by me. I think I'm able to beat this Blastoise. As long as he doesn't get any screens up. If I can deny these screens, that's amazing for me. Because I have my freaking uh, Dragazult in the back. I can just go ahead and Bolt Beak this thing. Now, depending on how specially bulky this thing is, it may live, and that'd actually be pretty annoying. But still, I think Choice Ban Bolt Beak from Dragazult would be more than enough to KO this Blastoise. Actually, maybe not. It's not Hustle, so... <laughs> There's the Fake Out. Let's see if we can one-shot this Grim Snarl with uh, Max Steel Spike with Life Orb. There's a Cannonade, probably going into that Sneasel. Oh, it's into Reuniclus. I'm actually pretty cool with that then. That's actually really nice. Can I one shot? Yes, we get the one shot. That's actually really huge. We've denied screens for this whole game. No more screens, no more fun. That cannonade's gonna be pretty, pretty difficult to deal with, but I think I'm I think I'm okay. Because I think I just focus down everything not named Blastoise and then sweep with uh, with Dragazult. Because the rest of the team doesn't have much. Yeah, there's right, there's um, there's right on. So I think it's in my best interest just to triple Axel. Because I don't think that protect. I'm gonna triple Axel and Max Overgrowth into this thing because if they switch into the Kamoa, it should just be gone. It should just be gone if they do that. So my current strategy is just focus everything not named Blastoise. There's the Protect, that's fine. There's the Hailstorm. I'm pretty cool with that, to be honest. I, I'm not sure why they would Hailstorm there. I guess just the chip damage, but nothing on my side takes chip damage. I just do the same thing next turn. Oh, that might have been a crit. No, it wasn't. That's just natural damage, and I think hail goes before grass? Did I just get the KO because of the because of the hail? Oh my god, I'm getting the KO because of the hail. Dude, <laughs> okay, that worked. That worked. Um, let me go ahead and just take that Kamo because I'm pretty sure that's what's in the back. And once Kamo is gone, I think I just went with Drake's ult. Yeah, there's Kamo. So obviously we focus this thing down. Um, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Like, like we'll, we'll be fine. Like basically everything that I have in the back deals with Blastoise. As long as we get rid of everything not named Blastoise, we're good. 
There's the protect, that's fine. There's the cannonade, probably under my sneasel. Yep. Alright. It's gonna do a ton of damage. That life orb damage is insane, but you can't tell him life orb because oh that was a crit. Can't tell him life orb though because of the um the magic guard I have. And if it's body press Kamoa, I'm inclined to believe my Drake is ults faster. And even if it isn't, I should be fine just to double this Kamoa slot. Because Reuniclus doesn't drop this turn. Alright, and now I just click Expanding Force. Alright, uh, also breaking swipe here, just to cover my cover my bases and expanding force, and that should be fine. I don't believe anything here gets wide guard or anything, so... It's gonna be a KO on Kamo, and this expanding force should do the rest on the Blastoise. And that also stops the wide herb. There's the muddy water. Alright, I think that's game as long as I don't miss here. There's the accuracy drop. Now we're essentially hustle. <laughs> now we're effectively hustle Drake's ult. And that's gonna KO. So that's a good game to Colin. Managed to pick up a win in XDL. Like I said, Colin's a great player overall. Like I I I can like count the number of times on both hands when Colin has like made an incredible play. And I've been able to see it on stream. Like, that That stuff's always fun. Like, I'm always excited when I watch one of his battles. So check out his content on Twitch and YouTube. I'll link him down in the description below. Uh, and if you guys enjoyed, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.